So it's been a good long while since I did a BBB album tier video and some of the reason is is because I just have had other creative stuff that I've been trying to focus on lately and have been trying to get out of the way and you guys have uh, had a lot of suggestions as well that have been awesome and I've been keeping that in mind and trying to get that out as well. So it's been a freaking mess trying to juggle a full time job. So fortunately I'm not doing this full time quite yet but with you guys' help that would be very 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 awesome and that's just as simple as leaving a like on this video or any of my other videos or giving me a subscribe or ringing that notification bell so you guys know what's going on at all times and leaving comments and more suggestions will really really help the channel grow guys and i really appreciate y'all i'm not going to take up too much more of your time i'm just going to hop right into the album tier list bvb4 my friends all right guys so the album tier rankings are pretty straightforward bad you guys know what that means alunium means basically it's kind of just mediocre you're Arguably, bronze could be the same, but I would say that just means good. Silver means great. And gold, goat status. So, fairly straightforward, and we're going to hop right into the album. So, starting off is, ironically, the opening track of the record, Heart of Fire. And this is not in order by any means. It just happens to be starting off with Heart of Fire. And I think it's a good opening track. I personally think that the third song here, Faithless, would have been a better opener for the album. That's just me. But, however, it's still a good close second for an opener for the album. I guess that's just how good of a record it is. Uh, Heart of Fire, still a really damn good song, though. I, I would put it in silver. I like the opening riff of the song. I like how the verses have, like, a bluesy feel to them. Like, they have, like, the vocals cut in and out, and then they have, like, you know, like a guitar lead. It, if you guys listen to the song, you know what I mean. It's kind of it's kind of hard to explain offhand. And then the second track we're going to look into is Crown of Thorns. And initially hearing this on the album, I wasn't, like, overly floored with the track at first. It was actually until I heard the live version of it at Warp Tour. I think it was 2015 or 16. I, I'm off on uh, my timeline there. Um, yeah, I, I don't know exactly when that show was. But I remember hearing that song and just hearing the, the opening licks to it, like the lead. And I was just like, whoa, this song is so freaking, like, big and awesome. I just love the chorus and that's how i got into the song i would give it silver as an actual ranking then and go check out that video it's really awesome if you guys want to go check out that video hey i'll get leave it down in the description for you guys and then my favorite track spoiler alert on the record faithless yes this should be the opening track in my opinion it's super freaking heavy the best riff i think jake and jinx have ever come up with so far in their career is faithless so this song is definitely gold uh, i'm not even gonna even front uh it's definitely a top five song for me just in general uh, all of their discography and the chorus as usual is really really big the guitar solo it reminds me of kind of like a megadeth feel even you could say that about the opening riff and then the verse riff it's just super heavy and just really really freaking catchy and then moving on to devil in the mirror Kind of more of a, you know, general hard rock song, but it's still very, very creative. I, I like kind of like the single note um, guitar riff at the beginning. It's like, nah, 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 nah. sorry, it's been a minute since I heard the song, so I'm, so I'm not exactly sure how it goes 100% anymore, but it was definitely a really good song. I'll put it in bronze. Don't think it's up quite with these guys right here. Goodbye Agony, a solid power ballad. Goodbye Agni is the next track, a power ballad from the record, one of two I would say from the record that are power ballads, and I really was impressed with this song personally, so it's not going to go down here for sure. I would say it goes into, oh wow, where, where do we put this? It's either bronze or silver, it's not gold for sure. I just put it in bronze, like it's not their best power ballad ever, but it's definitely a solid song, I enjoy hearing it when it comes on. And when they play it live, I enjoy it. And then The Shattered God. This is probably the song I'm least familiar with on the record, to be honest. Uh, it's definitely not a bad song from what I can remember. But I'm going to say that this song is probably just, since I'm not overly familiar with it, I'm just going to put it in Illunium just to be safe. It has a chance to rise up. Um... I will probably go listen to it after I'm done with this video at some point. Mortal Sacrifice, really good song. I like the opening riff. However, it's it's not a banger like Faithless or Heart of Fire or Crown of Thorns. So I'm going to put it in bronze. I'm really impressed with the chorus though. And then we have Last Rites, which it's kind of like 
It's hard to describe this song. Last rights in a lost city. Like the the chorus is definitely like the best part of the song. I just I put it in bronze. It's not like an absolute banger, like I said, with these guys, but it's a song I enjoy when it comes on. Stolen Omen, I think it is a song that where Andy's vocals get really low and growly at one point, which is really cool. It's a, I think it's an underrated track on the record, personally. Um, however, I don't think it's up again with these guys, so I'm going to put it in bronze. Walk Away is a power ballad on this record, one of the two. And I personally was really blown away with this track. Like, honestly, this gets gold, in my opinion. Do I think it's as good as the song is Faithless? No. But I think it's definitely, definitely good enough to be in gold. And here's why. I just... Like, this is, like, next-level songwriting. Like, like absolutely goat-level songwriting. It, it, it reminds me of November Rain, which is an absolutely legendary song as well. And it just captures you throughout the whole damn track. Walk away. You know, it's like, it's just... It's just gives you that feeling of just like goosebumps and the solo in that song reminds me of No More Tears by Ozzy Osbourne and Zach Wilde like holy shit and that's one of my favorite solos of all time and I think Walk Away actually might be a little bit better than that solo so that's saying a lot and Drag Me to the Grave Drag Me to the Grave sorry for the shitty singing it's just a really catchy freaking chorus that's the only part I can really remember off the top of my head um, personally right now uh, so I'll put that song in bronze just because of the chorus just being so damn catchy, but I can't really remember it off the top of my head uh, at the given moment. So I, I think that's the rest of the, the album. Yeah, that is. Like, holy shit. I, I thought there was more on that record. So that's how many songs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven songs. Okay. That makes sense. That's a full length record. And overall, this album is good. I don't think it's their best. I'm going to say it's not as good as their first three albums, in my opinion. But still a really good record and very enjoyable. I have a physical copy somewhere. I might have lent that out to a friend or something like that. I cannot find it anywhere. But I did buy this record, and so I listened to it quite a bit at one point. And I enjoyed it, so that's all that really matters. What do you guys think, though, in the comment section down below? Is my list totally off, or do you guys agree with me in any way? Go roast me in the comment section down below, guys. And give me a subscribe if you guys like these type of videos. Let me know if you guys would like to see more tier rankings like this. Give me more bands to rank as well, and I gladly will get around to them if I'm familiar. And I'm not really going to take up too much more of you guys' time. I'm going to just hop off here, guys. Until the next one, Jay Adams out.